This is Al Jazeera. Hello, I'm Mariam Namazi. Welcome to the News Hour live from London. Coming up in the next 60 minutes. ISIL in Afghanistan says it carried out a suicide bombing at a Shia mosque in Kunduz province, which killed at least 60 people. This, as the United Nations warns, there are just weeks to act to stop a humanitarian catastrophe that could see at least a million children die from severe malnutrition. <laughs> At least five people are shot dead as refugees and migrants escape from a crowded detention center in Libya. And... The battle is worth it. The personal sacrifices are worth it. And journalists Maria Ressa and Dmitry Muratov win the Nobel Peace Prize for fighting for freedom of expression in the Philippines and Russia. And I'm Farah Ismail. I have all the day's sport, including... Lewis Hamilton sets a new lap record in Istanbul as he dominates practice ahead of the Turkish Grand Prix. Hello and welcome to the News Hour. Our top story. At least 60 people have been killed in northern Afghanistan in the deadliest attack since foreign forces pulled out of the country at the end of August. A suicide bomber targeted Friday prayers at a Shia mosque in Kunduz, close to the border with Tajikistan. Hundreds of people were also injured in the attack. ISIL in Afghanistan, which poses a growing threat to the Taliban, has claimed responsibility. Hashmahal Barra reports now from Mazar-e-Sharif.